Bench National London National Seminar on Srinivas Ramanujan. So we are fortunate that we have a task of Professor Jafar Hashan, a retired professor from Aligarh Muslim University, and he is a renowned lecturer. I have gone to his several lectures. Many popular lectures for the students and popular lecture science. Many awards from the government. Many books. Now he is the Inspired the meditation in it today, what made his achievement really extraordinary was the fact that he received almost no formal training in pure mathematics and he started working on his own mathematical research in isolation. Well, this uh, this is uh, uh, what is meant to an equation to Ramanujan. An equation means nothing to me unless it expresses a thought of God. So mathematics is now the language of the universe. So the plan of my lecture is, first I will talk about something else, about early life and about the later years and some of its contribution I will highlight in this lecture. Well, the time is very short, so I have to cut short some of my slides. So, Ramarujan was born on 22nd December 1887 in a small village in the southern part of India. Shortly after his birth, his family moved to some place where his father worked as a killer in a class shop. Ramanujan attended the local grammar school and high school and early on demonstrated an affinity for mathematics. Yes, please, may I request to just mute your mic. Please mute your mic. Yes. 
So he began displaying sign of his brilliance at a young age. He got excellence in mathematics as a school student and mastered a book on advanced trigonometry, which was written by Essel Lohn when he was only 13 years old. In 1903, he got an out of date book entitled A Synopsis of Elementary Results in Door and Applied Mathematics by G.S. Carr, which contains 5,000 terms. This book fascinated Ramanujan and he spent months studying it in detail before moving on to formulate many of his own results. So, he started his schooling in 1892. Initially, he didn't like the school. After passing out of uh, Kangayan Primary School, he enrolled at Town High Secondary School in 1897. In 1897, he proved to be a brilliant student and won several their credit certificates and academic awards. At the end of high school, the strength of his schoolwork was such that he obtained a scholarship to the government college in Kumbakona. He graduated from Town Higher Secondary School in 1904 and was awarded the K. Ranganatha Rao Prize for Mathematics by the school headmaster Krishna Swami Iyer. He went to government arts college on a scholarship. However, he lost his scholarship to both the government college and later at the University of Madras because of his devoted devotion to mathematics. But And he was not able to pass in other subjects. He was passed with distinction only in mathematics and failed in every other subject. So he was thrown away from the school. And later he enrolled at uh, another college in Madras where he excelled in mathematics but performed pure, poorly in other subjects. He failed to clear his FA exam in December 1906. He then left the college without a degree and continued to pursue independent research in mathematics. After dropping out of college, he struggled to make, make a living and lived in poverty for a while. He also suffered from poor health and had to undergo surgery in 1910. After recovery, he continued his research for a job. And ultimately, he, he got a job when he met uh, the deputy collector of Madras, uh, Ramaswamy Iyer, who, is, who founded the Indian Mathematical Society. He was very much impressed by the Ramanujan work. So he sent him with a letter of recommendation to Ramachandra Rao, who was the district collector for Nello and was the secretary of the Indian Mathematical Society. So with uh, Rama Rao, Ramachandra Rao, Ramanujan discussed about elliptical integrals, hypergeometric series and his theory of divergent series. Rao agreed to help him to get a job and also promised him uh, to, found his, uh, to fund his research. Ramanujan ultimately found a clerical post at Madras for trust and, but continued with his research. His first paper, which was a 17-page work on Bernoulli number, was published in Journal of Indian Mathematical Society in 1911. This is a national journal. This is the Journal of Indian Mathematical Society. So, with the publication of this work, Ramanujan gained the attention and, pub and people notice about the about the geniusness of this uh, particular person, Ramanujan. So this is the image of uh, Ramanujan's first paper on Bernoulli number. So Ramanujan also cal calculated the Euler constant up to 15 decimal frequency. The Euler constant is defined to be like this, which is denoted by gamma. This is the limiting difference of uh, the harmonic series and the natural log. And it comes out to be this much. Okay? It is not yet proved whether uh, this uh, island constant is an algebraic number or transcendental or irrational. In spite of having almost no formal training in mathematics, Ramanujan's knowledge of mathematics was outstanding. Uh, and uh, due to a lack of uh, formal training, he had no knowledge of doubly periodic function, the classical theory of quadratic forms, or Cauchy theorem. Also, several of his terms on the theory of prime number went wrong because he has no formal training. 
and he started uh, correspondence uh, with the English mathematician G. H. Hardy in 1930, and this is the picture of uh, Hardy, and he says that that this quote is a really nice one. The mathematician's pattern, like the painter's or the other or the poet's, must be beautiful. The ideas, like the colors or the words, must fit together in a harmonious way. Beauty is the first test. There is no permanent place in the world for ugly men. And you can see very well whatever universal laws you have at your hand. For example, the universal law of gravitation. This is a very simple equation. Force is equal to gmm dash over r square. It is simply a inverse square law. Only two variables are there. R, the distance between the two objects, R, and the force. If R is known, force can be found out. If force is known, R can be found out. So this is a very beautiful uh, law. So very well said by Jules Hardy that beauty is the first test. There is no permanent place in the world for ugly mathematics. So Hardy was very much impressed uh, with the Ramanujan work and had him to get uh, some special scholarship from University of Madras and a grant from Trinity College, Cambridge. So Ramanujan traveled to England in 1940 and worked with uh, Hardy as well as his work was, uh, was uh, very much recognized by G. E. Littlewood, the mathematician of that time. And uh, he developed a number of theorems, number of results he developed, and especially in the partition of numbers. And later on his paper was published in European journals. So he got a number of awards in 1916. He was awarded a Bachelor of Science by research degree later named PhD degree by Cambridge, even though he was and not an undergraduate. Even then he got a PhD. His PhD was awarded in recognition of his work on highly composite numbers. During his short life span of 32 years, Ramarajan published 37 papers. This collected paper was published by Cambridge University Press in 1927. And he left behind a huge portion of his work. And these, in the form of several notebooks, these notebooks contain approximately 4,000 results. Almost all of them were without proof. And most of these claims have been verified after his death and they still continue to inspire the mathematician of this century. He was uh, an elected fellow at, uh, of the Royal Society in 1980, become one of the youngest fellows in the history of Royal Science Society and the only second year. He was elected for his investigation in elliptic function and theory of numbers. In the same year, he was also elected a fellow of Trinity College, the first Indian to be so honored. A biographical film on Ramanujan's life was released in 2014 in Tamil language and a biography of Ramanujan entitled The Man Who Knew Infinity was published in 1991 and a movie with the same name was premiered in uh, the film festival of Toronto in September 2015. There are a number of contributions, so during this short time, I will just, uh, I have to skip some of my slides due to the shortage of time. So few of them are their major contribution. So the major contribution include develop, developing the relationship between partial sums and hypergeometric series, independently discovering Bernoulli's number, and using these numbers to find the value of Euler constant up to 15 decimal places, discovering the Ramanujan prime number, and landing on Ramanujan Mosley and coming up with the Ramanujan sum and Ramanujan master theorem. He gave the fastest algorithm for calculation of pi. So finding approximation, approximation of pi, accurate approximation of pi has been one of the most important challenges in the history of mathematics. In 1940, Srivasa Ramanujan find a formula for computing pi that converges rapidly. rapidly. He, this formula computes a further 8 decimal place of pi with each term in the series. It was in 1989, not long before, the two brothers, Chudnowski brothers, computed pi to over 1 billion, 1 billion decimal places on a supercomputer during a variation of Ramanujan's infinite series of pi. 
Now look there, look here. This is the formula which Ramanujan gave to calculate the value of pi. And these brothers, uh, these uh, Chudnowski brothers, they computed pi over 1 billion decimal places on a supercomputer using this particular form, which was given by Ramanujan almost uh, a century before. So, in 1916, uh, Ramanujan published his paper title, on certain arithmetical function. In the paper, Ramanujan investigated the properties of Fourier coefficient of modular forms. So, this form was developed uh, after many years, and uh, it was a hey, it was developed the form of a theory which is known as the Hay theory in 1936 by German mathematician Eric Hay. So it was his last conjecture known as Ramanujan conjecture. It created a sensation in 20th century mathematics. It played a pivotal role in the lag lens program which began in 1970 through the proposal of American Canadian mathematician Robert Long. So this is supposed to be the uh, biggest uh, program or biggest project in mathematics till date. So, skipping on this thing, so in fact, Ramanujan has developed a party how the numbers can be partitioned. On in the in the partition theory, he find out a circle method. So, a partition for a positive integer n is the number of ways the integer can be expressed as a sum of positive integers. For example, p4 is equal to 5, this means that. 4 can be expressed as a sum of positive number in 5 ways. 4, 3 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1 plus 1, and 1 plus 1 plus 1. So this is how a number can be partitioned. So he later developed this, uh, mm, so with the help of RD, he invented a circle method which gave the first approximation of the partition numbers beyond 200. So this method is now one of the central tools of analytic number theory. So he also defines uh, def uh, he also deals with some type of uh, some type of congruences which are now known as the Ramanujan congruences. So they are for the partition function P n. They are written like this: P five n plus four congruence zero modulo five. P seven n plus four congruence zero modulo seven, and so on. For example, the first congruence means that if an integer four is more than a multiple of 5. First congress, P 5n plus 4, congress modulo 0, congress 0, modulo 5. This means that the first congress means that if an integer 4 is more than a multiple of 5, then the number of its partition is a multiple of 5. So this is a very important result. This result has been used later on in some practical application of today's world. Now that application I will discuss you in the later part of this lecture. So, this is the famous number, 17299. This is the Hardy Ramanujan number. So, in fact, uh, when uh, Ramanujan was uh, hospitalized, so his friend G. H. Hardy visited his hospital and he came with a taxi whose number was 1729, CE1729. So, Hardy was very much superstitious. He thought that, that what bad number was this in which uh, taxi he was coming out? Because it was very bad number. So he prayed that uh, his uh, friend must be good. But the number is not good. So when he met the uh, Ramanujan and said that he was traveling with a taxi whose uh, num number was 1729, and I thought that it is a bad number. So Ramanujan promptly replied. And he said that it is a very interesting number. You see, this is the smallest number which can be expressed as the sum of cubes of two numbers in two different ways. The two different ways are written here. 1729 can be written as 1 cube plus 12 cube. Also can be written as 10 cube plus 9. So he was such a genius that just by seeing the number he said that well this is not a bad number, this is a quite good number. It can always represent as the cube of the two numbers in two different ways. This number is now known as Hardy Ramanujan So this number, uh, whatever the smallest number which can be expressed as the sum of two cubes in n distinct ways are now referred to as taxi cab number due to that expense. 
So this number is now known as the taxi cab number. So the relevance of this number recently came to light as it was a part of much larger theory that Ramanujan was there. So theorems have been established in the theory of ellipt elliptic curves that involve this fascinating number. So this number is now very much in use. We will see later on also. Uh, Ramanujan also worked with the Fermat Lasse theorem. Uh, Fermat Lasse theorem, we all know that it is written as like this. It was given by a French mathematician, Pere de Fermat. And it is like this. If n is a whole number, greater than 2, then there are two positive the whole numbers, uh, x, y, and z, and such that x power n plus y power n equal to z power n. So this is Fermat Lasse theorem. This means that there are no numbers which satisfy the equation x cube plus y cube equal to z cube, x4 plus y4 equal to z4, and so on. Ramanujan has of these questions which is written here y square is equal to x cube plus ax plus two. And this is as the other uh, improving the karma, the beginning of the century, the help of improving the by Andrew Wills. So they are very important. Our theory, they want you to, uh, they are also find application in uh, uh, elliptic curve, cryptography, and integer factorization. So, this is how the elliptical curves can be graphed. So, this is the graph of certain elliptic functions. So, just start this one because uh, we have a shortage of time. Also, uh, uh, developed by Andre Wall in 1958. Andre Wall for a limited period was the last time. He was uh, during 1932 1933. So, in the curve, they find the UV and quantum physics. So, now you see this is the how the work of Newton. Gaining importance day by day. As the time passes, his is uh, work gaining more importance immediately. Uh, in strict theory, theta functions have been used. So these theta functions uh, were also discussed by Ramanujan, and uh, he is defined as the Ramanujan theta function, which generalizes the Jacobi theta function. And uh, these the theta functions. They are used to determine the critical dimension in bosonic string theory, super string theory, and the membrane theory. So this is one of the form of the Ramanujan theta function. Now this Ramanujan theta function, this is the famous theoretical physicist uh, Kicho Kaku from Japan, he is in the States. So he showed that well, that uh, the mode of the, uh, or the vibration of strings can be understood with this theta function, which was given by Ramanuja. So, Ramanuja, uh, Ramanuja, mock modular form, which is also known as the Ramanuja theta function, it can also be used that how the vibrations of uh, uh, black hole can be measured. So, so, even the word black hole was not known. And he gave such a nice uh, uh, functions, the modular form or the Ramanujan theta function, which now which are our uh, responsible for finding out the vibration in the or the black. So, or how the how to compute the entropy or the level of disorder for the black hole. So these uh, uh, Ramanujan mock modular functions can also be used. So this is what is a black hole nowadays. It is a very popular thing. And uh, just three years before, four years before, uh, 
we were able to find out the photograph of black hole, the things which is not visible, but we have obtained the photograph. So these things they need to be uh, discussed. Simply showing you the picture of that particular uh, or the photograph of that particular black hole. So now just a, a practical example, I come to this one. So now ATM, auto teller machine, this is an indispensable part of our life. And the inspiration of this machine came to John Shepard Barra. While he was sitting in a bar, causing his own tardiness, he has gone to his bank to withdraw cash but arrived at a, a minute after closing the time one day in the mid 1960s, leaving him with no funds for the week. So he was cursing himself that uh, just due to his laziness, he took him back the money and now what he will do for the weekend, he has no money. So he thought that would it, would it not be better to get money like the, uh, like the machine when you put down, when you insert some coin, you get the uh, uh, Pepsi, Pepsi or chocolate or something like that. So he, he the idea of a vending machine came to his mind. So he went to the bank and uh, just uh, tried to convince the manager of the bank with the, with the system of an auto teller machine, ATM, which is now known as. So he just convinced the bank manager. So bank manager was agreed to install six cash dispensers, the first of which was installed at a branch in the northern London suburb of Infield on June 27, 1967. So this is the birth of the ATM machine, ATM, auto teller machine. So Shepard Baron was born in Shillong. India in 1925. Later he served in the Indian Army in the 2nd Airborne Division where he taught Gorkhas to parachute. He, he was uh, telling Gorkhas to how to use the parachutes. Yeah. So he also invented the pin by recalling his Indian Army number. He has got all his uniform. He had originally intended to make personal identification number pin 6 digit long number. But he reduced the number to four. Then his wife Caroline complained that six was. And they agree on the terms of their wife. So his wife said that well I cannot uh, remember six digit. Better make it four. So he make it four. So now this four digits can be used uh, internationally as a pin. Yeah. So so just because of her. Four figures became the world standard. ATM works. So, John Barron, he invented the ATM, auto teller machine, gave the pay, pin number to it, but how this machine works. So, when we put down our debit or credit card in the machine and order the machine to dispense the amount which we desire, the machine divides and arranges our money before dispensing it by using Ramanujan partition. When we insert the card into the machine, the machine actually decides the amount in the form given by the Ramanujan partition theory. Okay. So in number theory, we have seen that the partition number 4 can be partitioned as 5 distinct ways like this. 4 can be written as 3 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 2 plus 1 plus 1 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus one 4 times. Okay. So auto ATM machine. It is the correct money to be dispensed according to Ramanujan partition theory. So you see here, the two genius, that is the genius of two fine gentlemen who never met and never bothered to patent their ideas. They never met each other, they never patented their ideas. Now when you visit an ATM, just think of these two genius, the Ramanujan and the John Barron. One who get the idea of this machine and other who gave how to work it before the idea of the ATM machine is spread out. So you see, this uh, this thing is very old one. So people are, still we are using. Even a layman or a common man is using a Ramanujan partition theory in the ATM machine. So whenever you visit the ATM machine now, just think of these two people, the one who gave the idea of ATM and the one whose mathematics is now used to dispense the money out of this question. Well, so only uh, 
five minutes are there, I can just see, just to compare the things, uh, I give you some, that will give, give you an insight about the friendship, that what the friendship means to Ramanujan. So there are different uh, sayings about the friendship. There is nothing on this earth more to be prized than true friendship. Real friends can see your pain behind that silent smile on your face. A true friend laughs at your jokes when they are not so good and sympathizes with your problem when they are not so bad. Never, lose a friend, never choose a friend without complete understanding and never lose a friend because of a small misunderstanding. So these are the first three quotes about the uh, friendship. Now see what the friendship means to Ramana. So Ramana didn't, they didn't have any close friend. And someone asked him, what is the reason that why you, why you don't have some close friend? So he replied that although he wanted to have some close friend, but the problem is nobody is up to his expectation. So the person asked, what are those expectations? So when he prays, he is that how he expected his friend to be. <coughs> Ramanujan replied, like numbers. And the numbers are two, 220 and 224. Now the, the person was very myself. That is, what is the relationship between the numbers and the friendship? The numbers are 220 and 284. So what is the connection between the friendship and these numbers? So Ramanujan asked him, hey, just uh, find the divisor of each number. Okay, find the divider of 220 and divider of 284. Okay, so that person with some difficulty, he find out the divider. And the 20, 220 has the divider 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 10, 11, 20, 22, 44, 55, 110, and of course 220. And uh, 284 has got the divider as 1, 2, 4, 71, 142, and of course 280. So then Ramanujan said that just delete this number in the end 220 and delete this number in the end 280 and then find out the sum. So the sum was very interesting. Whatever result he got, it was very interesting. You see, the sum of the number, the sum of the divisors of 220 excluding 220 comes out to be 284. And the sum of the divisor of 284, excluding 284, is 220. You see, 220 leads to 24, but 284 leads to 20, 220. So Ramanujan said that, explain, the ideal friendship should be like these numbers, to complement to each other. Even when one is absent, the other should represent the friend. So this is how the friendship should be in terms of number. Even when one is absent, the other should represent the friend. So this is, so I dedicate this uh, lecture to all my 220 and 284s. Is it very interesting that how the numbers are related to the friendship? That even when one is absent, the other should represent the friend. Uh, every best thing has to, has uh, an end. So in 1960, when Ramal was at his best uh, while working with his fully hardy and little group, he met with health problem. He was hospitalized in Cambridge and was diagnosed with TB and vitamin deficiency. So after two years struggle in 1919, he showed some recovery and he decided to return back to India. And uh, but his health, uh, the improvement was temporary. And after his arrival at Bombay, his health deteriorated again. And finally, he passed away on April 26. 1920. So this was the end of a genius who gave us so many interesting results, even the, uh, the, the money which we are using to dispense it from ATM. The money was uh, arranged uh, through the partition unit in Vaisa Ramanujan, apart from giving so many best formula which are still in use. So let's salute our genius uh, Srinivasa Ramanujan. So I end this lecture with the, that saying that scientific advancement is a journey, not a destination. Our trip continues with each discovery and the quote of Einstein, stay away from negative people. They have a problem for every solution. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. So due to the shortage of time, I am not starting the lecture. So sorry for that. Yes. Yes, I am here. Yes. Yes. Uh, how do you interpret that uh, Ramanujan knew the impurity? Ah, this is what uh, I am not interpreting. This is what the people say that he knows so much mathematics that the people say that he also knows impurity. So actually, what is what I learned in uh, uh, there there are some crazy numbers. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.